know if it'll be interesting to see what kind of sequel we get with Virtue's Last Reward. I don't know if it's going to have the exact same format in terms of the escape rooms, the nine doors, the bracelets, and all the rest of it. Um, obviously, I'd, uh, I've just booted up the game for the first time. Uh, so there was that little intro video that did, did make it look like we're going to be doing a similar thing, but maybe in a different location. There was a weird, um, like, doll character who seemed like they might be taking the role of zero i'm not sure um and then there's the characters themselves because so from making the thumbnails and the little age rating screen i'm aware yeah. that um it seems like some of the characters will be coming back or whether it might be some sort of like altered timeline or it might be a few years in the future i don't know there's a character who looks exactly like santa but so it could be his sister, right? But it's a female character, so it could be his sister. So that made me think it maybe it's like an alternate timeline. Clover's definitely in it, but she looked exactly the same, except the hair slightly different. But she might be older. I don't, I don't know. She didn't really look older, but maybe that's just the way she's drawn, I guess. In these games, uh, there's a character who did look like Lotus, but with a different hairstyle. Again, there was a character who looked like the exact same face as June, different hairstyle. Uh, Snake similar but different colored hair and maybe it looked it, it looked like he could see even though it was a still picture just the way he looked i don't know i don't know it just made me it was just making me think it was an alternate timeline and then the 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 main character it seems oh no it's happened again um didn't really look anything like uh junpei uh, could be an older version of Junpei. He looks a lot more filled out, and it looked like he was wearing like a jumpsuit. It had like an anarchy sign on it. Like whenever I glanced at the characters, whenever I loaded up the first game, I always thought it was a police uniform, but it's definitely not. It has like an anarchy sign on it. Maybe it's like a maybe he's a mechanic, or maybe it's like a prison jumpsuit. Then there's like there was an older guy. There was a child. And there's like a weird robot looking thing. So I don't know. Uh, but it looks like there's going to be this is, game is in 3D. So let's just start. Let's go. This game is a work of fiction. Yes, 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 yes. They are fictitious. Thank you. 25th of December, 2028. When was the first one? So it's just, just flat out in the future. Right, so everyone's been captured again, I guess. Hmm. Sigma. Oh, I need my notepad. <laughs> I'll, I'll get it out shortly. Ugh, ugh. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Wait, is this game not voice acted? Damn it. It feels like my head's going to explode. What, from the beeping? Wait. Where the hell am I? Okay, we're straight in here. Looks like an elevator, but isn't that obvious? A girl. Oh, it's Santa's look-alike. Oh, we don't have the okay. We don't have the little avatar pictures. We've just got them in them actually in the rooms. Gah! Who the hell are you? Um, hello? Right, okay. Let's try a different tack here. Where the hell are we? Also, while we're at it, why... Why? No response. You always this friendly, or did I kick you while I was sleeping? Man, this beeping is... So we're locked in an elevator. Damn. No lot there either, huh? I'm plenty friendly. What? I said I'm plenty friendly. Okay. Hey, looks like you can talk after all. So, let's try this again. Where are we? Don't know. Okay. 
Hmm. Well, could be worse, I guess. You could have said, actually, we're stuck in a booby-trapped elevator in the bowels of a top-secret government facility where they conduct grotesque human experiments. Right, back to the first question then. I am going to click because it stops the beeping. Who are you? By which I mean, what's your name? Okay, she's not sure. Sigma. Oh, I thought we were Sigma. Cute. That's my name. I'm asking you what... Wait a second. How do you know my name? I haven't met you before, have I? Memory loss? No, you haven't. I don't have any idea who you are. But... But what? How could you know my name if you don't have any idea who I am? How the hell am I supposed to know? I just know it, okay? Okay, strange. Uh, hey. No need to bite my head off. It's just, you're not really making sense here. And you still haven't told me who you are. Shut up! Just back off, Grandpa! Grandpa? <sighs> Look, I just don't know, alright? Okay. It's just kind of... there. Okay. So obviously we know the themes from the first game of the memories of stuff projecting through the various timelines. Like, I looked at you and some part of my brain just said that's Sigma. Right. Right, right, right. So we know that she... I'm, I'm forgetting her name. I'm sure her name was mentioned in the first game. If it is Santa's sister. Now, in the original timeline, she died? D didn't she? Am I misremembering that? And that was when she was a child, so... What do you think this thing is? Sorry. Hold on a second, I... Huh? This bracelet? Uh-oh. Oh, it says pear on it. See, you've got one too. They're pretty much identical. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Interesting. So we're, we're both number three. It was on already when I woke up. I haven't figured out what it's for yet, though. Hmm. Well, doesn't seem like it's a watch, does it? Thanks for that, Sigma. Great. You're just like Junpei. No. It's just got a three and the word pair. Right. Oh, they're making me do all the anime <laughs> grunts and sounds. What are you doing? Trying to get the watch off. Good luck. I spent a while trying to get mine off while you were napping. It's on pretty tight. It doesn't even have a clasp or anything. What about these buttons on the side? I pressed them, but nothing happened. <laughs> Not even a beep. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. Nothing. Damn it! What the hell's going on here? Somebody better start explaining or... Hey, look! What? There's something on that screen over there. Just turn around, Sigma. How are you feeling? Is that a hand puppet? Okay, Zero the Third. Wait, what the hell's that? A rat? 
<laughs> a rat? Look at the ears. No, pretty sure it's a rabbit. I'm sure you've got lots of questions. No, just stop talking, Zero, please. It just seems silly to have a big old chit chat right now. So, I'm gonna give you a game to play. Yay! A game? Yes, yes, yes. And I'm calling it the Nunnery Game! Oh, Jesus Christ, stop! Ambidex Edition! <laughs> oh, it's good to be back. <sighs> There's more to it! Lots more! But if I told you now, that'd be cheating. Jesus, man. I really hope the interaction with Zero is quite minimal here. Because his voice is going to be get frustrating. So, hurry up and get out. I'll be waiting. Oh, please don't. Hey, hold on. Who the hell? All right. I forgot to tell you the most important thing. This elevator you're in? It's going to fall in a few minutes. Way down. Oh? Yes, indeedy. So you'd better get moving. I'll see you later. <laughs> Have a nice trick. Yeah, yeah. See you next fall. That joke wasn't any funny in elementary school. Oh, I get it. Trip and trick, huh? Well, Sammy, you're impressed. Oh, for the love of... Damn it. Damn it. God damn it. This is bullshit. That stupid rabbit didn't tell us anything. How are we even supposed to get out of it? Well, said it's time to play a game, right? Oh well, guess whining about it isn't going to help anybody. We won't be able to get any answers if we can't get out of here. You with me? Come on, just nod or something. I don't want to die here any more than you. Let's go. Okay. I'll try and turn down the sound effects and the music a little bit more. I already turned them down, but the, the mix is still very loud. The game consists of two sections, the escape portion and the novel portion. The goal of the escape portion is to escape from whatever room you're in, hence the name. <laughs> oh. First, click on anything on the screen that catches your attention. Attention! You can change the camera angle by dragging your cursor across the screen. Okay, so this is more 3D than the first game. Right, so we've got floors zero, well, ground floor to nine. They're all in a bit of a funky, oh no, it's like up, oh, yeah, slightly funky order. There's no zero, no ground floor on here though, interestingly enough. Got a weird poster with photos of elderly and the elderly and children, a fire extinguisher. Um, a big mechanized something, another fire extinguisher case with some instructions on it, a picture of a baby on that, those buttons, and a picture of an elderly person on these buttons. What do you think this means? Hell if I know, just a bunch of pictures of babies and old people. Right, you're really not helping me here. Why don't you see if you can get it off the wall? Some things you come across and collect won't be stored with the rest of your items. Instead, they'll be put in the file. To look and review them, just click the archive button in the menu and then navigate to the tab called File. <laughs> oh, file! <laughs> right, um, try counting the number of babies and old people. Life would be infinitely happier? If we could only be born at the age of 80 and gradually approach 18. Sure. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven children. I need the notepads. The disaster. You never know when you're going to need it, right? We've got the Elden Book. All right, VLR. I haven't been taking notes in the last few games. Didn't really need to. Um, seven kids. Now, there are people of more, like, middle age here, I guess. A one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven elderly people, and two middle aged. But they could be classed as old people, so that would make nine. And you see the word Zoom in Kyan. Uh, I always forget how to pronounce this. Cyan, Kyan, and Kyan. In the top right corner of your screen, the game is in Zoom mode. <laughs> to return to your normal view from Zoom mode, press the Escape key, drag downward, or click the tri Kyan, tr Cyan triangle at the bottom of the screen. Yes, thank you. A fire extinguisher! Or something like that doing in an elevator. <laughs> Isn't that obvious? It's here in case there's a fire. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! You're saying there's some sort of thing in here that'll start a fire? It's not out of the question. Come on, don't do that. I won't be able to do anything if I, I think there's something in here that'll set us on fire. Fire extinguisher. If only could it extinguish my fear that there will be a fire. Sure. Uh, there's a, a, a box here with a um, nine digit code on it. We've got four different colours around the vent. Yeah, alright, I get it, I get it. If you need help with the controls, click the menu, then click Archive, button on the left. Then click the yellow Help tab to see a list of basic control. Right, directions. Take the key out of the fire extinguisher, and then use that to open the door. Anti-clockwise. The fire extinguisher pin. That's the fire extinguisher pin! You'll find two types of items in the game, hints in item form and items you can use in some way. In order to use an item, click whatever you want to use it on while holding the item. Whatever item is in the front on the item screen is the item you're currently holding. A picture of it will also appear in the item icon when you're holding it. The pin from the fire extinguisher. Yeah. The item screen, yes, the thing in our hand. While on the item screen, you can inspect items you found or combine or hold them. To access the item screen during an escape, click the item icon, which you can find in the top left corner. The item icon will show whatever item you are currently holding. Right, let's just have a look at other stuff first. What the hell's this stupid thing? It's huge. It's an ATM. Hmm, I see. Then do you think the safe down here is stuffed with cash? That would be nice. Don't no, We have bigger problems than money right now. Like, I don't know, get the hell out of here. It was a joke. I keep wanting to say Junpei, Sigma. Well, you don't have to yell about it. Yeah, too right. There's a strange, mysterious device on the far side of the elevator. I think you can put things in these. There are three of them. I think they're probably for memory cards of some sort.
A square metal box. Metal box. Looks like a safe. Yeah, I wonder what's inside. Something someone wants to keep safe. What else would you put in a safe? Well, what do you think it could be? A cracker. What the hell's so important about a cracker? Okay, how about a tie deposit box? A what? What does that even mean? Let's just try and open it. How? Oh, well, there's some kind of pad on the front with a 3x3 three three grid, right? I'm guessing that's how you open it. Right. Let's give it a shot then. Each escape room has a safe somewhere. These safes have two passwords, one for escaping and one for a hidden file. Okay. When you open the safe using the escape password, you'll get a key that will allow you to leave the room you're in. If you open the safe with a hidden file password in hard mode, you'll get a gold file. If you do the same in easy mode, you'll get a silver file instead. There's a hard mode? The gold and silver files contain supplementary facts and background information that will give the novel sections added depth but aren't necessary for escaping. In order to escape and continue the game, you must open the safe with the escape password. Well, of course not. You're not going to get far just guessing. We need to find a clue, yeah? So, wait, how do I enter hard mode? No. Right, we're in hard mode, so fine. Right, let's. Uh, so we've got red and blue, green and yellow. This looks like the case for a fire extinguisher. Let me see if I can open it. Damn. No good. Is it locked? Looks that way, yeah. Wait, Sigma! I think you might have what we need to open this. <laughs> you mean this pin from the fire extinguisher? Yes, I think it might fit in that keyhole. Come on, give it a try. Sure. Huh. Looks like it works. Excellent. Okay, time to see what's inside. <laughs> My tutorial sections in these games. Right. What's this? Polyurethane packaging. There are a few pieces of metal in here. Four of them. They look like sockets for socket wrenches. Each one has a different shape, though. Yeah. Well, we might as well take them. Looks like the tip of a socket wrench. A square tip. Pentagonal tip. Hexagonal. So I imagine these might have different shapes on them, I guess. No, these, these bits do. So why are these coloured like this? Oh, hey, this end's loose. Can you take it off? Let's see. Those are the handles. Probably the handle for some kind of tool. The grip is green. Some items can be combined with others to make new items. To combine items, start by navigating to the first item you want to combine, then click the combine button. Once you've done that, navigate to the second item so that it so that it appear so that it can appear so that it so that it appears to the right of the plus symbol. Then click combine but the, the combine button again. If it's possible to combine the two items you've selected, a new item will be created. Thank you, genius. The grip is green, right? So we just match the shapes up. Um, what does the old what do the old people have to do with this? I guess that's my question. It's a baby. Hey, have you seen a baby in here? Goo goo. Sorry, another baby. Stop screwing around and think. 
thought you remember seeing some babies. During an escape, you are given opportunities to switch difficulty levels. If you get stuck, you can switch the difficulty level to easy by opening the menu and clicking the difficulty button. In easy mode, the other characters will give you more hints. However, once you've switched the difficulty to easy, you can't switch it back to hard until you finish that escape. When you start over in a particular escape or enter it for the first time, the difficulty level is automatically set to hard. Yes. No, don't force it open. I didn't mean to click on that. Stupid thing won't even budge. Trying to force it is pointless. We need to find another way. Hmm. Right, so they're, they're both, both, all the signs are blue anyway. So we just match up the shapes on here, I guess. Um, I just want to look at the poster again. There's no colour relevant information here, I don't think. Right, so yellow and, and triangle. Yep. Um, the square is blue. There we go. Uh, pentagon is green. is red. Excellent. Yeah, good job. You're a regular mechanic. Hmm. Looks like you got it off. Right, so I've got all the bolts off now. Ready? I'm going to open it. What are you asking me for? Okay, okay, jeez. Oh no! There are a number of mini-games you will play during an escape. Controls and rules will generally be given to you before a mini-game begins, but some start without giving you detailed instructions. If you can't solve a mini-game, just quit by clicking the back button in the bottom right corner of the mini-game screen. If you keep trying though, the other characters might start giving you hints. They'll only do this when you're playing in easy mode though. So remember, if you get stuck on a mini-game, give it several tries before you switch. What's this? Looks like some kind of maze. You think we're supposed to solve this? That, great. Probably. Alright, I'm on it. You need to move the green block from the top left to the blue square on the bottom right. You can move the green and red blocks up and down as well as sideways by clicking and dragging the mouse or using the arrow keys. <sighs> Alright, so... This pink one goes here, this one goes here, this one goes here, this one goes here. That one stays there. Okay, this does not work. Oh. Whoops! I right clicked. Oh, damn it. Man, you're an idiot! I'm pretty sure there's an elementary school maze. <laughs> if it's so easy, you do it. Can I? No, 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 no. No. I can do this, I'll show you. Sorry. Alright, fine. Sorry. Alright, so we, we tilt it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Uh, 
Right, what's the easiest way here? Alright, that's definitely the beginning. I might have screwed it up. <laughs> no! Hey, we did it. Complete. Sweet. I did it. You know, pretty good. <laughs> hmm. This is kid stuff. I could do it with my eyes closed. I'm not so sure about that, Sigma. Oh, look at this. Hmm. Something came out of the box. Oh, yeah. Is this a memory card? We've got the green one. A green memory card, huh? Yeah. I got it from the maid. <laughs> hmm. Right, so that's only one puzzle done. So, let's press the seven. Huh, why'd it light up? I didn't do any it didn't do anything earlier. Maybe that was because the game hadn't started yet. Do you think this button does something? Dunno, let's take another look. Right, so I, there were seven of both of them, I think, so. Let's see what happens. Hey, it turned up. Looks like this thing's working now. The screen's going with a strange light. Um, two, two rabbits. Okay, I'm perhaps missing the point here. Zero. So what are the differentiators here? We d we've got babies, children, elderly, asleep people, middle-aged. Okay, so let's maybe count up the babies instead then. So we've got one, two, three, children, and then infants, we've got one, two, three, four. Right. And then everyone else would be one, two, three, four. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five. Uh. Wait a minute. Damn it. One, two, three, four. Four babies. Does it matter if they're stood up or not? Oh, that baby's got a, a nappy on, oh, no. though. Di a diaper. We don't know about this baby, though. This one doesn't have one on, though. Does that matter? And there was one elderly person who wasn't on their feet. Yeah, walking with, a like, a, a stick or an aid. So, walking, 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 walking. Four, whereas sat down, asleep, and sat down. And then, what the hell does this mean? Is that just everyone else? Am I reading too much into this? Unless this crochet thing... Cro Is it crochet? What do you call it when you play with this thing? 
This mallet, anyway. Does that not count as a walking stick, then? I'm not sure. So I have, obviously, I've counted the number. So just, are they classing these two as old people? Um, then it would be nine, right? If we're just doing it by... That, that did absolutely nothing. Um... I don't know how else to think of that then. Oh, the hell's this? Just tutorials, fair enough. Right, is there anything I've not clicked on, just out of interest here? Oh yes, up here. A control panel with a rabbit on it. Uh, there's a little panel here with a keyhole. The opening in the centre is covered with a, with transparent plastic. That's a keyhole. Um, I don't know how else to count the people then. The rabbit one as well. Okay. Babies again. One, two, three, four. Oh, that was right. Sigma, do you just hear a noise? What noise? Uh, I think it was over here somewhere. Thank you very much. That's the memory card that came out of the control panel. It's blue. You'll find two types of items in the game, hints in the form, in item form, and items you can use in some way. Oh god. Whatever item is in the front on the item screen is the item you're currently holding. A picture of it will also appear. Thank you. Okay, what the heck's this? Maybe it's some kind of password. A password? You got a notepad or something? <laughs> uh, yes. No, not really. Then you just have to remember this. You think you can handle that? Yeah, of course. I'm always remembering shit. <laughs> to view it, visit the archive. So it's either one, two, nine. So it's sun. sun, moon, and sun. But we've not got the hidden password, right? Completed! Ha! Huh. That's it. You did it! Good job. Huh. Piece of cake. Um, right, but hang on. There's another thing in here somewhere, right? Oops. Is 
Is this a key? It's a key, we found it. Awesome. Now hurry up and use it. It's not a memory card, I know. Okay, so there's still another memory card around somewhere. I wonder if I could bash this door down. I think I'll let you try that. It's probably full of explosives. Hey, come on now, that's scary. Hmm. Where could this other memory card be? Oh, I can look up. I don't think I can click on stuff though. No, it, it sort of moves down automatically. Oh, cool. Oh, God. I was just pressing the arrow buttons. Alright, fine. Well, there's like a little slot here as well. Right. I'm going to put the key in. Just hurry up. Right, right, right. I know. Here goes. Stop talking and do it. Yes, it unlocked. Hmm. So now we just have to open this panel. Do I want to do this? Right, so hang on. So we put in four babies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven old people, which leaves one, two, three, four, five other people. So let's just try that. No! Nothing! Oh. Yeah. Just do it! Alright, alright, message received. Here we go. Three, two, one, and push! I've missed that unvaluable information, I'm sorry. Oh, it opened a hatch in the ceiling. What? Why does an elevator have a ceiling hatch? I found it. Okay, disappointed I couldn't find the red key cards. Alright, it's open. Now let's get the hell out of here. What? What's wrong? Oh yeah. Guess it's a little high for you, huh? I'd say that's at least six feet, maybe more. Alright then. Climb on my shoulders. Your shoulders? Yes. Yeah, that's right. Why is something wrong? What? What's that look supposed to mean? What do you think I'm gonna do? Oh, come on. I'm just trying to be rational here. No ulterior motive. Hand to God. Not like I'm hoping to get my face sandwiched between a girl's bare thighs. Or... <laughs> I knew it. You sick bastard. <laughs> I was just kidding. Right, look, I'm just going to try and get us out of here. You got any brilliant ideas that don't involve your thighs? Fine. On your knees. Oh. What? You're a little tall for me to just jump up on your shoulders. And I'm certainly not going to give you the satisfaction of making me climb. So kneel. Okay. There. Ready? Bring it on. <laughs> Thanks. A little step up is just what I needed. What? Wait. What are you going to do? Quiet. Here we go. She can fly? 
How in the hell? All right, give me your hand. What? Oh. What the heck are you? Are you? Well, I'm not Superman, that's for sure. And I'm not Batman or Spider-Man or Aquaman or Merman or a Wolfman. Sure. I'm not a Brahmin or Common or Ramen. I'm not a caiman either, so <laughs> you don't really need to worry about anything. She's not noodles. Don't panic. My name is Fi. Fi. What was Santa's sister called? I'm just looking at my notes from 999. I mean, we, you learn about... So yeah, Aoi, Light, Nona... When, I mean, we learn about uh, when Santa mentions it, right? Quite late on. Santa, is his real name is Aoi, right? Maybe? Thighs, thighs. Right, I let's guess go. you could say, I am no man. Interesting. Just come on, one of these days, Witch King. Witch King. Okay. Okay, so we didn't get the hidden information. <laughs> Two milkmen. Go comedy. Oh, what's up with this place? Sure doesn't look like an elevator shaft. No. Some kind of warehouse, maybe. Or a hangar. So we might be in the other facility, right? The one that's adjacent to the stranded boat or ship. So we were in an elevator that doesn't elevate? Yeah. It wasn't going to go anywhere. And that rabbit said it was going to fall. He was just screwing with us. So it would seem. Then why? Forget it. Look. More people. Interesting. Looks like an old guy, a young man, two girls, and... A kid? They're all wearing bracelets. Like us. Probably safe to assume they're trapped here too. Right, well, let's go say hi then. <sighs> hey, hey there. And if you guys know what the hell's going on here, what the hell is that? <laughs> no, we don't. Thank you, woman A. I haven't been out here much longer than you. They grabbed you too, huh? Grabbed? Oh, yeah. I got in my car and I went to start the engine and then there was this white smoke. I think we all shared that particular experience. Okay, there's June. <laughs> oh, look at the necklace. The the bird in the cage, right? That's That was a relevant thing from the first game. Weren't we asked, like, what we'd prefer? Or am I thinking of Bioshock? <laughs> I'm sure there was something to do with that. Am I thinking of am I thinking of Bioshock? Sorry, I'm looking back at notes. Sorry. The smoke seems to be some kind of general anesthetic. When I woke up, I was in one of these elevators. I mean, it definitely doesn't sound like the same voice actress. Maybe you wouldn't put this together if you hadn't seen the 
the avatar drawings. But it sounds similar, right? High pitched, breathy. All five of you were in one elevator? No. What is that helmet you've got on there, lad? Mr. Dio and I were in the same elevator, but. Wait. Which one of you is Dio? That would be me. Right, and he's the one who looks like Snake. In the drawings, at least. This little guy here is Quark. Quark? Nice to meet you, mister. It's a fitting name for you. Alright, yeah. Nice to meet you, too. So, what about the rest of you? Tenmyoji, Alice, and Luna all woke up in different elevators. Tenmyoji, Alice... Alice... and Luna all woke up in different elevators. Hang on. Wasn't there the... the riddle that involved an Alice? Yeah. Alice, 1912, on the Gigantic. Oh, all ice. Right. Okay, that's worrying. Yeah, and wasn't she meant to be like an Egyptian pharaoh or something? Correct me if I'm wrong. No, you've got it right. So, you'd be Ten Miyoji then, right, sir? Yep. And Alice. Me. I mean, come on, man. I mean, that's fair enough. That's a very unique interpretation of a nipple ring, but... <laughs> She's Luna. And that's Luna. That sounds familiar as well. I suppose this would have been the benefit of playing this immediately after I played 999, but... I don't think Luna was the name we heard. I could be wrong. I have a, a Nona, but not a Luna. Hello. It's very nice to meet you. Yes, I knew. Uh, hey. Nice to meet you too. What's she so nervous about? And you are? Right, um, I'm Sigma. And this bundle of laughs is fine. <laughs> Good to meet you all, I guess. Say that again. <laughs> oh, God. And this malnourished harpy is fine. <laughs> Better. <Bastard. laughs> oh, thigh fi Um, are you two... <laughs> Not likely. That elevator was the first time we'd seen each other. I think. You think? Oh well, yeah, she knew my name. Never mind. Forget I said anything. We met just now in that elevator. That's the truth. Uh, yeah. See your bracelet there. So is Sigma not going to be voiced at all? Huh. Oh yeah, sure. Hmm. And yours. Fi, right? Now let me have a look. Hmm. I thought so. What? Mark, you and Dio show them your bracelets. Okay, blue. Just like Fi and I. No, wait, the color's different. Ours are red. And yours are blue. I need to write down some names here. Got Fi, Sigma, Dio, Luna, Quark. A little sharp eye there. Ten Miyuji. I'm just going to call him Ten. Which is a number, which is interesting, I guess. What about yours, uh, sir? Ten Miyuji, hmm. right? Hmm. Show him yours too, ladies. Solos. Oh. Red, blue, and green. They're different. You've all got threes, but your bracelets say solo. Right. You figure it out then? 
Hey, I walk. Oh. Sigma and I are the red pair. Dio and Quark are the blue pair. Yep. Each pair got put in the same elevator. But Tenmyoji, Alice, and Luna were all solos. So... Hmm. Okay, that's great and all, but... What do pair and solo mean? Don't got the foggiest idea. What? You mean you don't got the foggiest? Solo means you're on your own. A pair means we have to be together. Well, that's helpful. I don't know why we're split up like this either. Look, there's coloured doors everywhere, mate. Does anybody know what the three means? <laughs> Maybe it has something to do with the game. Game? Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes! And I'm calling it... The Notary Game! Advent Edition! Yes. You guys saw him too, right? That rabbit thing? Yes. In the elevator. He said something about the elevator falling. The others explained that after they'd escaped from their own elevators, they'd got around the warehousey room we were in and tested the doors. Unfortunately, it turned out they were all shut tight and impossible to open. They'd been about to try and open this door, the one with a nine on it, when Fi and I appeared. So, any chance this one will open? <laughs> you think we'd have done it last if there was? Okay, thanks for the sarcasm. There's some sort of, I don't know, machine off to the left here, but... <laughs> Give it a shot, why don't you? Is there no, like, novel mode in... Error. Huh. Looks like force probably isn't going to work either. No. Well, I didn't really think that would work anyway. <laughs> I don't think you'll be able to force that door with anything short of a tank. Alright, well, how about those three doors over there? I told you already. <sighs> Alright, Quark. Each one's got a digital lock on it. Prefer it if... If your attitude had a digital lock on it. We can't pick the lock, and we can't break down the door. The attitude on this lad, you sure about that? Why would I lie? Because you're an annoying child. <laughs> okay, are there any other ways out? No, unfortunately. Not that we've found anyway. The absolute state of Alice's outfit, man. I mean, what is going on? Well, there is one thing I'm a little curious about. What's that? Clothing? And its purpose? And that is? I was the first to escape. Okay, that's automatically suspicious because you're an undead Egyptian goddess or something. That means I know who was in which elevator. I watched all of you come out after all. That, that definitely sounds like Lotus's voice actress. I don't know if they're purposely slightly changing it, but... And... Well, I was in the one-third from the right. Right. Tenmyoji was the second out. Your elevator was second from the left, I think. Mm, good memory. Yeah, that's where I was. Okay. So, Alice. Tenmyoji. Third was Luna. You climbed out of the rightmost elevator, didn't you? You said third. Yes, that's the one. Dio and Quark were next. You came out of the elevator next to Luna's. Right? Yeah. Okay, Quark and Dio. We did. And finally, the two of you were trapped in the third elevator from the left. Yeah. Yes. No one has come out of the leftmost elevator. Yet. Are you... 
Are you saying there's still someone in there? I can't say for certain, but it does seem strange. What's wrong with their fingers, man? Maybe we should go take a look. Yeah, good idea. I don't know what console this originally came out, if this was a Nintendo thing as well. Ambidex, they're all titled Ambidex Rooms. Hey! Anybody in there? If you can hear me, just, I don't know, make some noise. Well, that'll be underneath, right? Nothing. Hey, look at this! Ambidex. Room. Is that some kind of card reader? Maybe it unlocks it or something. There's one next to each door. What do you think Ambidex room is supposed to mean? Well, it says it on all six of the elevators. Maybe it has something to do with the game that Zero was talking about. Got to admit, I think I did prefer the the drawn avatars in the first game, but oh, the Nonori game Ambidex edition? Maybe, maybe not. I don't think we really need to worry about that right now, though. We should be figuring out what's inside this thing. Anybody got a key card? <sighs> nah. I got nothing. Not even dirt. Because that's a common thing for people to have in their pockets, Ten. So they've taken everything we were carrying? Wonderful. The rest of us dug through our pockets as well, but it was pretty obvious that Dio was right. My own were completely empty. There wasn't even any lint in the cre creases. Maybe there's no one in there. Nope. There is. There's gotta be. What makes you so sure? Okay, you're starting to get on my nerves as well, Dio. Uh, well... Um... Oh, I love it. Look! It's opening! Really? Thank you, Quark. There was someone in there! So, yeah, you, you, uh, just in case you did watch me play the first game, you, you could have to put up with me. With I mean, you guys know, the, the, the cringe. like Not the cringe, but like the... Yeah, it's just... Yeah, it's a balance of just enjoying the levity and ridiculousness of the dialogue a little bit and how... Yeah. How it's like this. It's always stating the obvious kind of thing. So this is going to be Clover, right? Just basing off the uh, menu stuff. So we've got like a machine. So this is set in 2028, right? Can't remember when the first game was, but... What the... Who the hell? Clover! Right, Alice knows Clover. Clover? Are you okay? Maybe that is Lotus. Clover! Wake up! What's going on here? Do these two know each other? What did you do to her? Nothing. She was like that when I woke up. I really wouldn't worry though. Hmm. She should be alright. Her breathing is steady. I believe she's only sleeping. A masked man. Then she hasn't woken up since they kidnapped her. Uh, kidnapped? Begging your pardon, but I'm afraid I don't understand what you mean. Where are we? And who are you? Oh, hold on. How about you tell us who you are first? You leap out of that box dressed like some kind of robot, carrying an unconscious girl, and we've only got your words that you didn't make her that way. I think you owe us an explanation, pal. I'm... Hmm... Who am I? Okay. What? I don't remember. Okay, sounds like seven, right? I don't remember anything. I have no idea where I am, who I am, even what day it is. Have you even got a bracelet on? If you happen to know any of those things, I would very much appreciate it if you shared that information. Not knowing one's identity is... vexing. 
Yeah. Oh yeah, very original. The amnesiac routine. Please. How are we supposed to take you seriously when you're wearing this 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 robot suit? We can't even see your face. Are you gonna tell someone forced you into that thing? I assume so. It seems the most reasonable explanation. <laughs> when I woke up, I was wearing this armor, I suppose you could call it. Interesting. You look pretty calm for a man who doesn't know who he is. How else would you be? Look, that's an odd choice of words. I'm wearing a mask. <laughs> how would you know how I look? You know what I meant, you smartass. Uh, oh, she's waking up. Clover. Oh, they dressed you in Are you clover. okay? She's got the clover on her buckle. I think in the art, 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 in the drawing of her that I've got on the thumbnail, she's got a tattoo or of a clover, which is slightly different from the one in the first game, I think. Come on, talk to me. Yeah. Uh, this, where are we? Once Clover had woken up, Alice explained everything we knew so far. She listened silently until Alice mentioned Zero and the nonary game and then her on nonary game nonary game and then her eyes went wide. What? No. No, that can't The blood drained from her face and she wrapped her arms tightly around herself. What does she know? As Alice continued to console Clover, the rest of us turned into questioning the mysterious man in the mask. When did you lose your memory? When? That's a difficult question. <laughs> yeah, that's better questions, Ten. I suppose when I was born, I don't remember anything of my life. Assuming I had one. He sounds a bit like Ace, right? He sounds a bit like Ace. We asked him everything we could think of. Birth date, address, occupation, family, childhood, but all he did was shake his head. I think he has generalized amnesia. It's a type of memory loss. People affected by it retain knowledge like language, social common sense, memorized facts, abilities they've learned. But anything that has to do with um, themselves is just... It's not lost. It's the bridge. It's the bridge has been damaged between the memory and the retrieval. It's a very serious condition. Most research suggests that it's mainly psychological, not physiological. But in very rare instances, it has been shown to result from severe head trauma. Obvi obviously, Luna. I mean... <laughs> just say that amnesia is psychological and not physiological like we needed to have explained that so what do you have any idea what caused it have you got a sore head hmm maybe i had a really bad breakup <laughs> <laughs> he was making a laughing sort of noise but his expression <laughs> didn't change with the mask on there was no way we could tell if he was smiling or not but his voice sure didn't make it sound like he was Bullshit. Yes, thank you, Top Hat. This guy's obviously full of it. Don't tell me you're actually buying this. Dio's outburst was greeted with an awkward silence. It wasn't that we trusted the robot man, per se. <laughs> Only that it seemed clear he was in the same boat we were. There was a bracelet on his wrist, too. Close inspection revealed that his armour fit around the bra bracelet. In other words, the bracelet was attached to his arm like ours, and not simply part of his suit. And just like ours, he had a th his had a three on it. It said pair below the three, and all the text was bright green. Clover's bracelet was exactly the same. What's, what are we going to call him then? How long had we been there? 
I still hadn't entirely shaken the last traces of sleep out of my head, and my brain felt foggy and cluttered. Had I been asleep for hours, days? There was no way to know. They'd taken my favourite watch when they'd grabbed me and given me the bracelet instead, and unless it had happened to be three o'clock right now, it wasn't going to be very useful for telling time. With no windows in the warehouse, it was impossible to even guess what time of day or night it was. Time could have stopped and we wouldn't have had the first idea. Damn it! No dice. This thing won't open. Didn't I tell you that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, well, I just thought... There's a box here. Maybe it's some sort of locking thing, like the ones next to the elevators. Yes. I don't think it's a card reader, though. No, it's for the wrist, for the braces. Huh. Hey, what do you think that is? What? The graffiti over there. See, on the wall? Oh, yes, that. I was wondering what that was. Yes. Two milkmen go comedy. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. Maybe it's saying that a pair of milkmen decided to become comedians. Still, just kind of sounds like nonsense. Though... I think it's somebody's way of saying hello. What? You heard me. Yeah, I did. I just... What the hell was that supposed to mean? It's an anagram. <laughs> yeah. An anagram? They tried a lot of names before they worked it down to Tella. Come on, seriously? You've never heard of an anagram. It's a kind of, um, wordplay where you move the letters around to create something else. Right? Exactly. Watch. With the tip of her boot, Fi spelled out the two sentences in the dust on the floor. Two milkmen go comedy. Welcome to my kingdom. That was fast. Oh, okay. If you switch it around, yeah, that makes sense. Huh. Hmm. Exactly. Seems like somebody was expecting us, doesn't it? Yeah, but... Where are they? Pretty rude to invite somebody over and not even offer them a drink. True, but you're assuming that Zero isn't one of us. Yeah. What? Oh, for God's sake! Huh? Look. So is this the same Clover from the first game? Surely she can explain this to everyone. Well, I guess the presence of Zero in the group compromises how much she could probably tell us. Over there! Shame on you, Fido! You can't say what I'm about to say before I say it! Zero. I've got a plan, you know. I can't just tell you everything at once. Although, things are starting to get exciting. Sure. <laughs> Where are you, you little bastard? They love bastards so far. <laughs> That's why I would have choice to like me. Too scared to come out and face me like a man? Are you an idiot? I'm a rabbit. You really think a talking rabbit is a real thing? Of course I don't. You're some kind of CG rabbit or something, probably. That's not what I meant, though. Oh! You meant you want to see the person who's controlling me? Yes, God touched this one a little too hard. What? Weren't you listening to Fido? She's clever, you know. Wait. Then you're saying Zero is one of well, us? Yes. I guess that's one way to put it. Are you really sure? You're responding to our questions and stuff right now means you're not just, like, 
a, a video somebody made. Wouldn't that mean that Zero would have to be controlling you and sending you answers right now? Because it doesn't look like anyone's doing that. Well, of course they aren't. I'm an AI. <laughs> what? I'm an artificial intelligence powered yes. by a quantum computer. Zero is the one who built me, of course. Okay, so we know that Lotus was a computer programmer, right? So, so I guess that makes one of you my parent! <laughs> what? Now, are you a mommy or a daddy? <laughs> that would be telling. <laughs> now, with that said, I guess I should probably tell you that I'm not the one who brought you here. I mean, obviously. I don't even have a body. I'm just the facilitator for this facility. I just do what I'm told to do. And what do you facilitate? Didn't I say? Don't say it again. The game, of course! <laughs> oh, the nunnery game. Ambidex edition. Correct! It's my job to make sure it runs smooth. No. Okay, so it probably is the same Clover then, as she remembers. It's supposed to be over. There she goes again. She knows something. So, what is the Nonary game? Nonary refers to a base nine numeral system, but can also mean something that is, in some way, related to the number nine. That's feels like it's ace, doesn't it? <laughs> Nona can be used as a prefix as well, where it means essentially the same thing. Wait, 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 wait. Didn't, wasn't there someone called Nona? Yeah. Nona was... Wasn't that one of Lotus's daughters? Yeah, twin daughters, Nona and someone else. Therefore, it stands to reason that the Nonary game is a game that deals with the number nine in some way. Exactly. Nine is a very, very important number in this game. After all, nine is your goal. Goal? Yes, goal. You see that door in front of you? That's your door. If you can open the door with a nine on it, you can escape. What do we have to do to open it? Yes, yes, yes. Let me explain. Look at your left wrists. You see the bracelet? Of course you do. Now, tell me, Fido, what number is on yours? A three. What about the rest of you? They're all the same. We've all got threes. Exactly. I'm going to call those numbers bracelet points. If you're feeling lazy, you can just call them BP. Only the people who can get their number to nine or more will be able to open the door with a nine on it and escape. Uh, so are the bracelets going to change then? See the box on the wall? That's how you'll get out. Anyone with a greater than or equal to 9 BP can pull that lever and the door will open. However... Greater than or equal to, There really? are three rules you carrot forget. One, the number nine door will only stay open for nine seconds. When your time is up, it will close automatically, so be careful. Two. The number nine door only opens once! Once that happens, it's all over! It'll close for good after nine seconds, so if you're not careful, you can get stuck. Three! Now, maybe some of you are thinking, you're thinking, oh ho! If my BP is too low, then I'll just have someone with enough BP open the door! And I'll just slip through when it's open! Well, that's not gonna happen! If you think you can be sneaky, well... Well, what? Oh, I... Oh, I really shouldn't say that yet. <laughs> All you 
you need to know is that anybody who tries to sneak out gets hit with a big penalty. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? Down in front! I'll tell you later. Um... Yes? Why did you start making... rabbit puns? Uh... Well, um... <laughs> Because I felt like it? Yeah. I thought it might make me sound cute. Never mind that. You still haven't told us what we need to know most. How do we get BP? Oh, that's easy. Just use the Ambidex room. If you like abbreviations, you can always call it the AB room instead. You mean those, uh... Elevators? Gold Star! So how do we go about using them? How else do you use a room? You go in. You mean through the hatches? No, I had a hunch you might try that. So I closed those up tight while you were talking. So don't be hatching any hatch plans, you understand? I live in the master computer. That means all the electronic doors in this whole warren are under my control. How do we get in then? We tried the doors on the front, they're all locked. There's a card reader next to each one, isn't there? All you gotta do is slide a card through, and there you go. But where do we find those key cards? That sounds like Ace, man. Well, we don't got them. There weren't any in the warehouse. Uh, oh, well, no. Of course there wouldn't be any there. Then where are they? I think you will find what you're looking for behind the chromatic doors. <laughs> chromatic doors? Right here! You see the three pretty doors just to your right? Huh? Hold on. I thought those doors were locked. Quirk. What? You see those buttons on the sides of your watch? Can you press them at the same time? Why? To make little boys ask questions. Just press them, please. In fact, why doesn't everybody press their buttons as well? Hey, what's this number? The two digits on the left show hours, and the two on the right show minutes. Uh-oh. Does that mean it's 12.10 in the morning? No. Oh, the numbers are going down. It's going from 10 minutes to 9. So, that would mean this must be counting down to something, right? Correct. I don't even need to explain the rest, do I? Probably. I'm guessing this is the time until the chromatic doors unlock. Ding, 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 ding! Very impressive, Ten Violi! Nah. Alright! Let us review what we've learned. In nine minutes, the chromatic doors will open automatically. However, just like the number nine door, they won't stay open forever. You have five minutes. Once your time is up, the doors will close no matter what. So I hope you've gone through by then. That's just the primary door. <laughs> what? Each door in this warren has a twin. Isn't that nice? The chromatic doors aren't any different. There's one door on this side, one door on the other side. Unfortunately, the secondary chromatic door on the other side is locked too! Alright. <laughs> Couldn't make it easy for us, could you? Of course you'll all have to split up. Split up? Yep. Cleaver, can you tell me what the three primary colors are? Why are you asking me? Because you're the only person who hasn't talked to me. I try to communicate with as many people as I can. It helps me improve, you see. I'm trying to get into the rabbit of doing it all the time. Now, answer my questions. Do you know what the three primary colors are? Well... Y you mean red, green, and blue? Green's not a primary color. You're supposed to be able to make any color by mixing them, right? Yellow, yellow, blue, and red, right? So, which colors would you mix to get magenta? Am I losing it? Green is a secondary color, right? Yellow and blue make green. Red and blue 
How about yellow? Green and red? What if you wanted cyan? Blue and green. That's right! I'm, I'm, sh I'm sure that's not right. I have been getting this wrong my entire life. Primary colors. Yeah, it's yellow. What the? Now, take another look at the nice bracelets you're all wearing. Notice how they come in three vibrant colors? Yeah, yeah. We get it already. The red and blue bracelets can open the secondary magenta door together. Right. Green and red can open the yellow one. This is not how colours work, man. And blue and green can open the cyan door. I miss anything? Wonderful! Wunderbar! I think you grab it. There is one other little thing, though. Yeah? You're talking about what happens if you've got two of the same colour, right? Yep. What do you think happens? How the hell would I know? If you want to open a door, but all you've got is one color, then you can use that to open a door with the complementary color to the one you've got. Hmm. I see. So if you've got red and red, then you can open the cyan door. Blue and blue can open the yellow door. And green and green can open the magenta door. Why? Right again! Looks like your brain hasn't rotted away yet, Ten Mioli. <laughs> this is, is. Do colors work this way? Uh, just what the hell's that supposed to mean? It means exactly what it says. I was trying to compliment you, you know. Alright, forget it. Green has gone through a rebrand. Like Twitter. <laughs> but it doesn't make any sense, no one wants it, but green is now yellow. Now yellow is now green. Oh well. Let's continue, shall we? There are two types of bracelets. Pairs and solos. That means there's two types of players too. Pairs and solos. In this game, the two members of a pair are considered to be a single entity, which means they share the same... Destiny. Right, we've got three solos and three pairs. Isn't that a good deal? I mean, you get two for the price of one! <laughs> so that means Sigma and Phi could go through, because we have reds, we could go through magenta doors without anyone else. Unfortunately, that also means they carrot split up. Oh. Both members of a pair have to go through the same chromatic door. I've had enough of you now, Zero. Solos don't have any restrictions like that, though. I mean, why would they? They're forever alone. That makes it even more suspicious that Clover's tied to Robot Man. If it is Ace. It look, definitely sounded a bit like him, but I might just be reaching. But that means that they can go wherever they want! Yay! Now... Let's take another look at all of your bracelets. Oh, can, just, can you just go away, Rabbit? We'll start with you, Siggy. Your voice is very grating. What colour is your bracelet? It's bloody red, all right. Are you a pair or a solo? Oh, I can read! Next. Tell us about your bracelet. It's just like Sigma's red in a pair. What about you, Alas? It's red, and I'm a solo. Yo, work. Blue, pear. Yeah, mine's the same. Mooney, Cleaver, Tamioli, all at once. I'm a blue solo. I'm a green pear. Green solo. And finally, uh, who are you? I'm. Uh, let's see. I suppose you can call me K. K. 
constant K. I knew it. You were just lying about that amnesia crap. I'm not lying. This was just a... How do I put it? A flash of insight, I suppose. I saw the letter K. So? What does K have to do with anything? I wish I knew. Sadly, I have no idea. He's a replicant. Does it mean anything to you? Asshole. <laughs> Chill out, Dale. Come on now, boys. You can fight later. Now, uh... K? Can I call you that? He just asked to be called that. Yes. I'm guessing your bracelet is the same as Clover's. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? K. Mind if I call you... K? <laughs> That's right. It says pear. And the text is green. Remember, you messed with the entire color spectrum, man. <laughs> well, Fi and I can't split up since we're part of the same pair. If we're red, then I guess we should pair up with Luna, right? Since she's a blue solo. Or you could work with Mr. Dio and me. Quiet, child. I'm not working with we're you. We're blue, too. Whoops! Oh, celery sticks. I forgot to tell you. You have to have exactly three people in your group to oh. open the secondary door. That means you can't have two people, or four people, or, well, anything other than three, really. <laughs> okay, that ruins things a bit. <laughs> then our only choice is to pair up with Luna. Pretty much. And I guess I should probably tell you that the secondary door won't open until the primary door closes. It's made that way to keep out cheaters. We didn't want a fourth or fifth person just running hmm. at the last minute like, no, wait for me! When the right people open the door, but if the primary door closes first, then that's impossible! You see, it all makes sense. And you might have run a hair too long in my explanation. Yeah. But now, I'm all done. Any questions? I took a moment to go over everything we'd learned so far. So what we learned is, is that K, his name is K, and he doesn't mind if you call him K. <laughs> what do I have to do to escape? Open the number nine door. How do I open the number nine door? I have to get nine or more bracelet points, also known as BP. How do I get more BP? I don't have the whole answer to that one yet, but it looks like I have to head into the ambidex room to get it. How do I get into an ambidex room? I'll need a key card for that. Where is the key card? Zero said it's on the other side of the chromatic door. What do I open? What do I do to open the primary CD? Nothing actually, apparently it just opens on its own after a certain amount of time. Pressing the buttons on both sides of the bracelet simultaneously shows how much time is remaining. How do I get through the secondary door? For starters, there's a limit on how many people can go in, specifically three people. If combining the colours on the bracelets of those three people gives you the same colour as the door, then the door will open. If everyone has the same colour, then you can open doors with that colour's complementary colour. <coughs> right, red plus blue, green plus... Right, I need to write this down because the colour... the colours are just screwed with me here. Yellow. Complimentary. Red and red is cyan. Uh, yellow, blue, and blue. Magenta. 
Nope, I brought that down wrong. Magenta is green and green. Uh, red and red is cyan. Sorry. Right. Good? So we could go through the door with someone else, whoever was the red solo, right? Excellent. It looks like none of you have any questions. Yay! <laughs> Huh? No, wait. We have questions. Of course we have questions. What's the point of this game? Why did you take us? Where are we? And who the hell is the real Zero? How convenient. Chromatic doors have opened. Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. Oh, so sorry guys. But it looks like your time's up. You better hop to it and get those secondary doors open. Fuck that. <laughs> we aren't gonna open shit. You can take your lamery game and shove it up your ass. If you think we're just gonna swallow your psychotic crap and play along, you've got another thing coming, you smart-ass little rodent. I'm a rabbit. Shut up. Yeah, why is a why is a rabbit a marsupial? Well, shoot. I thought you might say that. Unfortunately, you have no choice but to follow the rules. <laughs> Why is that? When the time comes, those three doors will automatically close. If anyone is left outside after they close, they'll... They'll what? They'll be penalized. You keep saying that. What the hell is this penalty anyway? It's death! Well... two drugs. The first is an anesthetic called Soparil Beta. The other is a muscle relaxant called Tubocurarine. Your bracelet also has a bunch of needles on the inside. If you break the rules, those needles hop out and inject you. First is the Soparil, which puts you to sleep. Nine minutes later, the Tubocurarine is injected numbing your respiratory muscles. I guess you could say it'll really take your breath away. You should know that the Soparil is only there out of the kindness of Zero's heart. Oh, and, and I mean the real Zero. Mm -hmm, not me. Zero just doesn't want to see anybody suffer. Isn't that just a whole compassionate? <laughs> if I had a heart, it'd be melting right now. Anyway. All it means is that you'll die pretty painlessly, so, hey, there's nothing to worry about, really. Of course, none of that will happen if you just follow the rules. Three minutes remain until chromatic doors close. So, looks like we are going to have a choice, though. Surely we can combine the colours in any which way here. Well then, looks like it's time yes. for me to hop on out of Please here. Please go, I'm so sick of your high-pitched voice. Good luck, guys! See you all later! Have yes. a nice trap! Yeah, be quiet. Honestly. Well, this episode is very long. So, there was poison in the bracelet. Seemed a little hard to believe, but it wasn't like I had anything other than a computer-generated rabbit say either way. <laughs> what were we going to do? There was a lot to think about, but we didn't have very much time. Classic way of moving a story along. What are we waiting for? Oh... Luna. June. We need to go. We need to get through these other doors. But how do we figure out which door to go through? You still don't get it? <sighs> Fine. Just pay attention. We don't have much time. Zero's explanation was pretty confusing. So let me put it in small words for yes. you. Yes. Patronize the child. He's been doing my head in. There are only three possible options. Option A. Sigma and I pair up with Luna. 
Our red and her blue can open the magenta door. That would mean Clover and Kay would go with Alice. Their green goes with her red to make yellow. That just leaves Dio and Cork as the blue pair, and Tenmyoji as the green solo. The only door they can open is the cyan one. Got it? Option B. Sigma and I go with Tenmyoji, so we can use red and green to make yellow for that door. That means Clover and Kay pair up with Luna to open the cyan door. This leaves Dio and Quark with Alice, and together, they can open up the magenta door. And finally, option C would be where we pair up with light colors to open complementary colored doors. That means Sigma, Alice, and I go through the cyan door. Clover, K, and Tenmyoji go through the magenta door. And Dio, Quark, and Luna go through the yellow door. Problem is, which do we choose? Please, Sigma, choose something. <laughs> Why have you got permanent jazz hands, man? Wait, what? If Why you me? don't want to, then maybe Alice or Clover can choose. Or Tenmyoji or Dio or anyone. Once one person chooses, everyone else's decisions will be made for them. But please, you have to hurry. We're almost out of time. One minute remains until chromatic doors close. All right, all right. I'll pick. Nobody seemed upset, but they probably knew as well as I did that we don't have time for bickering. I took a deep breath and spoke. Okay. Fi and I will... All right, all right, all right. So we can't go through with Clover. I imagine everyone would want to go with Clover to talk to her about what's going on, but... Alice, Luna, or Tenmyoji. So... If I'm just trying to make a quick parallel with the first game, Alice and Lotus, Luna, and um, June and Tenmyoji would either be the ninth man or Ace because he's a bit older probably Ace right I would more pair uh, K with Seven right they've both got memory loss I don't know who would be the ninth man then. Maybe the kid. Santa and Phi. Sigma and Junpei. Clover and Clover. Um, Dio and Snake. Luna seems very dear in the headlights. Alice recognized Clover, so that's probably worth questioning. So let's go with Alice. I think I'd like to go with Alice and take the cyan door. Is that okay with yeah. you guys? Sure. That means Quark and I are getting paired with Luna. I don't have a problem with that. Sure. Miss Luna's nice. Oh, this might be an issue for Clover, though. That's fine with me, too. We'll take the yellow door then, right? That means Clover and I will take the purple door with Tenmyoji. Oh, I wanted to go with Alice. There was no version where that would... Oh, yeah, it could have worked. Uh, something wrong with me? Yes. Well, no, not wrong. Okay, what is it then? Well, you're really going to make me say it? You're... What is with the ageism in this series, man? What? Well, you... I'll have you know, I'm as spry as I was when I was 20. Ten seconds remain. Jesus! Until chromatic doors close. Nine. Run! Eight. Seven. We don't have time for this. We need to go. 
You're getting an earful later, young lady. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Three, two, one, zero. Chromatic doors closing. Crew quarters. I, pe I picked Alice because of her connection to the first game, so this outfit is just insane, though. right? Um, this just a hallway. The door said crew quarters. People probably stayed here. There are numbers on each of the doors. Yep, good to know. Four so doors. Room one, room two, room. Yes, I get it. Hmm. Guess we might as well start by opening one of them. Yes. Find a way out. Looks like we were right. This place really says someone lives here. Yeah, there's a bed and yep. everything. But who would be spending the night in a place like this? It looks too plain to be a guest room. This room probably belonged to a laborer, or some kind of blue-collar worker. I guess this is where the people who worked here stayed. But what were they working Beats on? Beats me. Why would I know that anyway? I don't know what this place is any more than you do. Your guess is as good as mine. Do you think it might be a coal mine? Hmm. Or maybe they're drilling for oil or something. I don't know about that. What do you think this all leads to? You want to go have a look? No, look. Looks like it's locked. No getting out of the hallway until we can unlock it then, I guess. What's with this hot, constant winking she's doing? Looks that way. Alright, let's split up and have a look at the cabins. Zero told us there are key cards we can use to open the AB rooms. Maybe there's one hidden in here somewhere. So let's get started. With a nod, Fi and Alice both moved off and start look, started looking. Fi headed to room 4, Alice went to room 2. Right. Seek a way out, yes. Alright. Alright guys. Let's uh, save our game. Yes. Right, we'll leave it there, guys. Um, yeah, intriguing start. Um, the, the the formula is different now. It's not numbers. It's based on the colours and the pairs. Whether that gets changed up, like deliberately, whether we get like repaired, I don't know. And we'll have to find out, but it's it's fun to be back in this sort of style of game, right? With its um, bizarre writing um, and cool, like di um, like uh, d diverse range of characters. Um, yeah, interesting. Right, so we'll uh, continue in the next video uh, it's the first episode in a new series sort of i know it's a sequel but yeah it helped me out if you left a like on the video gave it a share whatever else you want to do um yeah subscribe if you haven't already and just remember everybody never trust an on crate i'll see you next time